Hello everybody, welcome back to more Binding of Isaac Rebirth with me Flick and today we are going to unfortunately have to do a Maggie run so she's only got a heart kill and a Satan kill. Right, what I'm after is a cathedral kill. Of course it's a Curse of Darkness to start, why wouldn't it be? With Lemon Mishap? Yeah. Someone said Lemon Mishap is quite good now so let's go test it by using it on the boss. Oh, horrible. So what was I saying? Oh yes, this is phase one of my plan of getting a blue baby kill with blue baby. I'm going to unlock the relic by beating the cathedral with Maggie. I think that's what I have to do to get it. Fairly certain it's not kill Satan. Well, it can be because I have already. So if I had the Yumhar, I could use it right now. Oh, I got a bomb. What am I doing? Let's go back and get that tinder rock. While I can still see the damn thing. Thank you. So Lemon Mishap is only a two-charge room, or two-charge item rather. So probably should have used it prior to now, but the boss is right there, so screw it, I'll wait. Where did the bomb ones go? Are they dead? One died for sure, but was there more than one? And pincer me, would you? So he's going to fire, yep, when he dies, and they do full hearts as well. There's still something alive, the doors didn't open. Oh, there you are. Don't take Lemon Miss up with you, just use it on the boss. Of course it's the Hawn! Why wouldn't it be the Hawn? This dick. I don't even think Lemon Miss up will work on him because he's flying. So then you get the two and then he's no longer invulnerable once they're dead. He is still a dick, however. Did he hit me there? Because he wasn't touching me. Yeah, he flies, so that does literally nothing. So from what I understand it, he randomly brimstone beams every so often. If you go adjacent to him, he goes super fast, and also if he hits you while he's doing that, he does bullshit one full heart of damage, which is crap. He also does a random spit, I believe, as well. Or maybe the spit isn't random, but the, the brimstone beam definitely seems to be just whenever he feels like it. Yeah, there's the spit. So if you're moving with him, it shouldn't be too bad. Again, it's this it's the super speed and full heart of damage if you're adjacent to him that bugs the hell out of me. I guess it's like that because it forces you to be below him. But no, I don't like this boss at all. And I think it's ridiculous that he's a first floor boss, even if it's the harder version of the first floor. I mean he's probably the worst. I would say he's worse than Headless Horseman. Although I haven't actually unlocked Headless Horseman outside of the boss rush mode, I think. Just die, thank you. Tears up, DPS up. Yeah, why not? Now let's go back and get my precious, precious yum heart. And get rid of this bloody dark floor. Oh yeah, and go in the curse room as well, of course. Go ahead for free, it's fantastic. Would that have, if I came in here before the boss, would it have given me a first floor deal with the devil? If so, then it sucks. I wish I had done that first. Oh, and I totally forgot to do the seed. I'll do that now. The seed for today is H2HM PP70. There you go. Oh, if you don't like Maggie, feel free to try it as someone else. Because I'm with you. She's good for deals with the devil, and that's about it. I think I might actually prefer a new Samson to her, you know. And that's something I never thought I'd say after playing the original for so long. Don't be a dark stage, that's all I ask for. Good. And it's easier version, so that's fine. So what are we hoping for? We're hoping for damage. And we're hoping for maybe spirit hearts to protect our regular hearts to get deals with the devil. Oh, wait, no, I don't need to worry about that because I have goat's heads, so that's guaranteeing these deals with the devil. So HP ups then, just so I have more and more to trade away. Ugh, this is this is horrible. <laughs> Never seen this layout of this room before. How the hell am I? I'm gonna have to like get in there. There's no way in hell am I going over there until some of them are dead. No way in hell. <laughs> yeah, you come over here. That's right. That's fairer. Pretty fly is great, especially for free. Right, uh, 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 don't you dare! Emulated friend. 
If that isn't a baby item in the game, it should be. I'm not seeing any tinted rocks either. Cursory glance though, because I'm concentrating on these hoppers. Up here, thank you. So I think there's still three of those blooming turrets at the top. There it is indeed. How many hits do you take with Maggie? Three of them. These, these rooms are just designed to slow you down, I think. So there is a curse room. We're not going to go in that just yet. Not now, but soon. Once I have a young heart charge. Or because there's a heart there, we'll go now. Be good to me. Spider room is not good. Well, it might be. It might pay out with something towards the end. Does this tent for a charge as well? It must do, because it locks the door. It does indeed. Oh. Good job I came back. And I'm desperate enough for any advantage that I'll blow up the flames. And the poop. There's our item room. We have a key, thankfully. Oh, that one's suicided. Thank you for the bomb, and... Ah, so that's the thing that makes you invincible when you stand still. By itself, I don't really see much application, but if I get Mom's knife, I can be literally invincible and kill enemies. Into rock. Oh, we've got a spare heart at least. So yeah, now I'd love to get Mom's knife and just make sure that I can do what I want to achieve today. It's a bit tacky, but it's a combination that exists. It is pretty rare. Oh, that was a lucky find. Hmm, if only there was a arcade. Oh well. Monstro! It's the version that loves to just fire and not do super jumps as much. The best version, in my opinion. And I don't even care if you hit me, because I am i think I'm guaranteed a deal thanks to Goat's Head, so no, no. Just might take a little while, because I'm Maggie. And now I have a raccoon tail, thanks to that leaf. You know what I haven't seen in a long time that's really good, and was also the very first item I found in Rebirth? Holy mantle. I've never had it once since then. And it's so good. And I'll always remember it, because it's the first item I ever got in Rebirth. Not even just the first new item, it was the first item. First item room, bam, holy mantle. So HP up, that will hopefully trade away, or be Krampus. Okay, the nail. The nail is better than Yumhart, the spade is not. And we will use it straight away, I think, before going down. Well, we might as well just use it in the first room of combat on the next floor, actually. Oh, or I could free that pill. So let me just free that pill. It was not worth it, but oh well. I had to, I had to take the gamble. We still got a spirit heart out of using the nail, and that's the main point of it. So now I'd also be looking for getting enough money and going into the shops to try and find the battery, 9 volt. Why would it be another Curse of Darkness? Why do you hate me? Gurglings. It'd be interesting if you could fire while standing still and get the statue effect, but it doesn't work like that. That'd be way too overpowered. Especially if you had something like Tiny Planet. Because you could just have stuff orbiting you the whole time you stood still. Yeah. Alright, let's try and get through this floor with relative swiftness because I know how much worse uploading a video to YouTube you know, makes these stages seem because they're so dark already and I will blow up some of these mushrooms. I don't really rate the, the blub blub thing but getting liberty cap and a pill is good. This isn't the same pill as before, right? Be good, please. Hematomesis, that makes you down to one red heart. Why did I pick that up? I should have waited in case it was a boss trap room, but never mind. So we've got pride in here, and we have a spare red heart in the room before, so that's good. And we could get a tarot card here. Or... What else can he drop? Just a consumable, right? And then... What's his best drop? Oh, Anarchist Cookbook, which we don't want anyway. Temperance, yes, but I'll wait until I know how many hearts we've got left on the floor. 
before I start gambling with that. Uh, oh, right. I couldn't even see if there were spiders. I'm just kind of firing for the hell of it. There's a tinted rock that just got me hit. But we're still going to leave the room half a heart in credit, assuming the spider doesn't hit me. Which he did not. Good. There's our item room. Oh, get rid of the psychic one. There we are. I'm amazed that those didn't hit me. They probably should have. If I was them, I would be pissed. Magdalene OP, clearly hexing, you know, posting that kind of stuff online. Oh, I don't have any keys. Bollocks. Alright, well, I need some keys, please. Oh, I need a key, please. I'm not, gonna, I'm not greedy. I'll, I'll take the one key for now. Anything. It's a dark floor. Cut me a break. Thank you. And the nail is ready. Teleporter. Ugh. Don't know why I even bothered picking it up. I picked it up before. I don't need to do it again. Maybe shouldn't have done that. Maybe should have just waited and used the nail on the boss for the bonus damage as well, but... I used it without really thinking it through. I doubt there's going to be six rooms of combat, you see. Yeah, there's definitely not going to be. Shop we can't get into, annoyingly. So there's half a heart up there and there's two other full hearts. Alright, good. Keep that in mind. So that's two and a half hearts so far on the stage. Plus there's a curse room I haven't been in yet. So I can go into the shop now. I might do that on the way back. I will after using Temperance for sure. But let's deal with our boss first. See what deal with the devil we get. I doubt I'm going to have deals that I want to throw away three hearts, but who knows. Gertie Jr. I was just killing your younger siblings. You're not as bad as you used to be, but you can still just kind of randomly smack people. Oop. Aha, you still kill your own summons as well, good. You don't have much HP either, which is a good thing. Come on, charge this way, destroy the fly. Never mind, I'll do it. I think, as I said, because I've got go ahead, it doesn't even matter if I get hit. However, I want to maintain as many spirit hearts as possible, so... Because we're going the distance. I mean, Isaac is my goal with Maggie, but a chest win with Maggie would be totally fine now as well. So that is the scab, right? Which is HP plus luck. Yes, good. The razor blade for one. Have I picked up the razor blade yet? I don't really want to have to throw away a heart to do it. Headless baby I quite like. Although it makes it hard to see certain enemy attacks. I'm still going to do it though. The razor blade, if you aren't aware, you damage yourself to do more damage. It takes effect for the room only, I believe. Or it did in the original. If you had, if you had lots of means by which to heal yourself then it can be good. Let's go have a look in our shop before we do any more and get that half heart that's on the way as well. Okay, I thought it might have been greed. Tarot cards. Would I pay 15 cents for one tarot card? No. I will buy everything else though. That covers the cost of exploring the uh, curse room as well. Way nice! And that pays for Headless Baby, so you might as well consider that we got Headless Baby for free. And is it worth for free? Yes. Oh, why would it be Dead Cat? I can't. I can't. I'd be... This is Dead Cat for 3 HP. If only I'd came in here first before playing the Blood Bank, I would have taken it. I would have, but I can't. Can I? Uh, yeah, I can. 3 HP for a dead cat is not a good deal. That's true. I agree. That's what you're shouting. I entirely agree. 3 hearts for a dead cat, no. However, now it means we have some lives to throw away on deals. And if I become guppy, it'll be an easy trip for the most part. Because our damage is still base... Yeah, our damage is still crappy. What else was in here? The razor blade for one. I'd lose my spirit hearts if I threw away the life now though, so not worth it yet. Maybe that was a mistake if you're playing along at home. 
do the opposite. Don't take dead cat. Don't even go in the curse room and let me know how you get on. I'm genuinely curious, by the way. I'm not trying to be like, oh, I bet I made the right decision. I don't know. I don't think I did. One bomb for three bombs, I will say, is a good deal, though. I'm genuinely curious. How does it play out if you don't take nine lives? Like, am I destined to become guppy on this run? Or am I destined to die nine times in a row? Like, uh, last time I got nine lives. Although, to be fair, I only took it then because I knew I was going to die anyway. And just wanted to try and explore a lot of the chest. Didn't work out very well, but, you know. I should have re-rolled on that run. Pitfied poop. If there's a room filled with it, I might go grab it just for that room. Other than that, not so much. In need of having petrified poop. Liberty cap, again, it shows up so much, especially now you can get it from mushrooms. And it's good. It is just good. Random compass effect, random fire rate up, random damage up, etc, etc. That was bad damage, but that's okay. No, 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 it's not okay. That was a interesting dodge I did there. Interesting is the word. How long have I had my nail not used it? Will I use it in here? Hmm. Yeah, I need the spare heart. Destroy the rocks just in case. And we will have a look in the shop. Great. Hmm. Oh, is it Curse of the Unknown? Uh, Curse of the Blind, rather? Yes, it is. So I've got no idea what that is for 15 cents. I will buy the battery charge. Or rather, the nail charge, I should say. And I'll use it. Because it's another spare heart and we might get hit. I was amazed we didn't get hit prior to that, quite frankly. So there is 15 cents for something. Who knows what it is? And I'm 11 shy. If we get Pageant Boy from the boss, then... I'm not going to go in the boss right now either. Haven't had the item room on this floor. Don't have a key for it, mind you, but... Well, sometimes things work out. <laughs> That's good. That might get traded away when we kill the boss. For damage though now, really. I don't want anything else passive. The Headless Baby I like, it does damage. It seems to do good damage when it does actually hurt enemies. But it's not my damage. It's not me getting stronger. And if I am going to become Guppy, I do need to get stronger too. Was there a key in the shop? There very well might have been, but I'm going to finish clearing the floor anyway. So we'll deal with that when we need to. If there's two more rooms, three more rooms of combat rather, and here's one. We could have a nail for the boss as well, which would be great. Let's get rid of that spider. It's oof, it's getting in my way more than I would like to admit. And that's a boss trap room. Unfortunately, now that I have two HP, I can't get in there. Hmm. I'm starting to hope that there is a key in the Oh, I haven't been to the curse room either. Curse room could have free guppy a minute. Very frequently guppy's collar appears in there. I knocked that fly into me. That was my own fault. Well, there's a key for the item room. Oh, eternal heart. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why I deserve this luck, but I'm getting it. Oh, dear, dear. Sorry, I stopped to take a drink there. So, curse room. So that could be a guppy item. We know it's not dead cat, because I have dead cat, so there's no harm in picking up. It could be ceremonial robes for free. Place your bets. What do you think this is? I am going to bet that this is guppy's head. It's guppy's paw. Okay. So how are we going to do this? I'm going to use it once right now. Why am I doing that? So I can get into the boss trap room. And because we're going to have 2 HP for the next floor anyway. Ah, that's not worth it though. I'd rather go... I'd rather hold on to the key, I think. So now we're two-thirds of the way towards becoming Guppy. We need the collar, or we need the head, or the hairball. That could be in the boss... Uh, not boss room. Deal with the devil room. Let's find out. We'll also have a nail charge ready. Yes, we're ready. Oh, it's uh, Polycephalus. Right, so that's your name. Polycephalus. Not quite sure what triggers you bouncing up, but let's try and get you on the creep if possible. That seemed to be fairly random. I thought it was when I was close to you, a bit like how the ghosts appear. Oh, you spawned one of the worm dudes. Okay. Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to hit me. There was just no gap. Oh, 
Other than that though, he does seem fairly okay. He shoots in a very weird arc, so I think it's hard to dodge him in that sense. If you have if you have better than Magdalene's base damage, then I think you'd be totally fine. But we have her base damage, so Well no we don't, we have we have the nail damage plus Maggie's base damage, so we should be killing him faster than we, if we did. Yeah? It's HP. Okay. Krampus. If he drops Krampus's head, do I take it? That's a good question. I'm glad you asked. We need damage. Krampus's head is most definitely damage. So what would you do? There's so many ways, different ways this run could go because of all this. Screw you, I moved. I mean, if he drops lump of lump of coal, there's nothing to discuss in this particular instance. Oh, you're dead. Here we are. But if he drops Krampus's head, what am I going to do? If he drops Krampus's head, I think what I'm going to do is take it, go back to the curse room where I left Guppy's paw, and use Guppy's paw to get rid of another heart for more spirit hearts. Keep one to trade away on the next floor for something. Although usually if, like, say, Mom's knife appears, it's a two-heart deal, not a one-heart deal. So we don't know what he dropped. It was the head. Okay. Money where your mouth is. Or I could just go down as I am and take the three HP. This is one of those... Oh, we haven't been to the item room. Shit! I'm so glad I looked at my map again! Is anything in the item room going to change what my decision is about what we do here? Probably not, but I'm glad I remembered. Or looked at the map, rather. Bob's Curse. Poison bombs. Totally fine. We can look for the secret room here, while we're here anyway. We're too slow for boss trap. Uh, boss rush, rather. Ah, it wouldn't be in there. I'll just hold on to the bombs. I think I'll take the red hearts. I know I'm now firmly behind not having too many red hearts, because they just fuck you up in the latter stages of the game. But three is not too many. It's enough to trade away for two deals on the next floor. So that's what I'm betting on because, you know, one guppy, I mean, we're solved. Can I use Krampus' head while I'm in, like, statue form? That'd be interesting. Let's just screw your day up. <laughs> I feel like in Isaac, if you rely on an item that appears fairly regularly too much, it probably means that item is OP. So, of the items I think need nerfed, as much as I love it, I would say Cramsey's head is way up on that list. More so than... Uh, we will do this, you can get tarot cards from Skulls. More so than Dark Bum. Dark Bum I think is now balanced in that he pays out one spare heart for every heart and a half that he eats. He actually has a, you know, he has a formula now, that, rather than what it was before. The sun is fantastic, I'm glad I kept my red hearts. Because otherwise it would not be. Now we just need to solve our damage woes. Maggie's damage woes. The autobiography everybody's waiting to read. Serialised in the sun because they'll print anything. I mean literally anything. Martians invade Britain. It's probably been a title they've actually had at some point. Well, one died. I actually thought all three were still alive. Because, you know, our damage is so low and the headless baby isn't helping because they're flying. Where is the other one? Are you, know, you the other one? No, that's the other one. I think he died. I don't like how long these rooms are taken. No way. I definitely need to find more damage. So there's our aim room and also there's a easy Larry Jr. kill. Holy water. Have I had holy water in Rebirth yet? I assume it doesn't accidentally replace a familiar anymore, so there's no harm. If I get hit, it spills and does like a lemon mishap where you got hit. It's pretty bad. It was especially bad in the uh, the original version because it had a glitch where it replaced certain other pets. Or replaced them with Brother Bobby. That was terrible damage. Excuse me. One more room of combat and then we will go to the boss. There's still more rooms to explore. But still, we'll still do one more room than the boss. We have the sun card to fall back on if things go really tits up. However, I would rather hold on to that, if possible. 
Oh, there's a mini boss. Who is it? It's lost. Okay. That's fine. I see Lieutenant Rock as well, so can we kind of lure you here? -ish? Yeah. Alright, we'd have to use a key. We have it, so I'll... Hmm, but if I do that... Poison Touch is fine. Does that work while I'm in statue form? I'm going to test that. Uh, I was hoping for more than that. That means that our shop... I mean, our shop is still out there somewhere. I'm going to look for it. Did I just accidentally use something? No, that was me turning into a statue. I'll look for a shop and look for a key for said shop. Because we have the money. Oh, now that is interesting. A tarot card, two battery charges, a pill. Oh, a consumable I could take or leave. And there's a battery charge right there. So we have plenty of battery charges. So that means I can clear the rest of these rooms really easily. That's good. Also, I'm going to blow him up just in case. Fine. Screw you! Where the hell is the shop? So there's still two more charges, plus whatever the tarot card is. Could be... We use the world, so now we know where our shop is, and now we... Well, that was a bit of a waste, but I'm taking the sun with me for sure, so meh. We still need a key, and also I'm not using Cramsey's head on this room because it's not worth it. I know I have battery charges, but still. What I would really rather like is if this room drops a key, because then that means I don't have to go looking for more rooms of combat. There's a... yeah, there's three more. Maybe. Ooh, that was so close. I was running at that bullet. You don't play chicken with bullets. Oh, now you give me a golden key. So that is the fanny pack for 15. Uh -huh. Hmm, fanny pack for 15. I don't think that's worth taking money out of my poor donation machine again. Paralysis, meh. Let's see if those last three rooms of combat provide us with the money. If they do, then fine, I'll buy the fanny pack. Oh, or that could do it, but I... Oh, I have a golden key. So let's just go nuts with it. So this should give me enough money right here. It did, barely. That's actually a terrible payout from a golden poop. Normally you get so much more than that. And it's, again, I have batteries, so why not? Let's check these rooms just to get them out of the way. Screw you. So, battery, shop, boss. And it should be a relatively easy boss because of Krampus's head. And then it's down to Mom. Ah uh, yeah, Barry. Don't accidentally take the goat hoof. Don't need the extra speed, thank you. So the fanny pack randomly pays out with various cons consumables. I don't know if it's if you get hit or if it's just random. Oh, we got mini mush there because we were even faster. This is just floor one, right? Yeah, depths one. So who will it be? Could be the bloke, could be Mask of Infamy, although I think he only appears in Necropolis. Hmm, it's a lot of skulls there. Turret and a tarot card. The tarot card is... The Hierophant! Well worth doing! Paid a bomb for two spirit hearts. That is a fantastic deal. Right. Oh, it's just cute, adorable Loki. Although I kind of missed him with Cramsey's head, so... That was a mistake. Also, his spike almost got me. Hey, since when did you spawn so many bombs at once? Oh, I have a golden key, so that's good. I can open that. Yeah, let's do a mid-fight. Oh, Bob's Braden, you can get right lost. And it's technically extra damage, and we have bad damage, but I am not taking Bob's Brain. I don't know if I just called it Bob's Brain. I might have called it something else. I think I said Bob's something or other. It's Bob's Brain. It's god-awful, and I'm not touching it. Even if it does give me the damage I technically need. I'm putting my bet on becoming Guppy. I don't need Bob's brain. Nobody needs Bob's brain. It ruins runs. It ruined a perfectly good blue baby run for me. Alright, and down you go. Ugh, latch key isn't exactly great either, although we need the keys, so whatever. Pandora's box. So that's a devil room item? I've seen it in the shop. In fact, I bought it in the shop before. So that 
Well, let me check what these are first. Hemitomesis, we don't want paralysis. We might as well use for shits and giggles. Alright, we'll use it and see what happens. It dropped four spirit hearts this time. Okay, well, now we're at HP cap, so that's good. Was there a boss trap room? Because I could have used the hemitomesis pill. There is not. Yeah, Bob's brain, you can get lost. I know our damage is still shit. I, I'm placing the bet on Guppy. Oh, that's Necropolis too as well. Ah. Oh. Oh, pardon me. I had to take a drink. Again. Ill. Sore throat. Etc. So we're not in a good place damage-wise. Base... Why would I do that? Base Maggie damage this late into the game is god-awful. But we have Krampus' head. I really wish I had it for this room just to kill them quickly. In fact, you know what? Get poisoned. Nah, uh, it kind of didn't work. You get poisoned. Did you just take the shot for him again? Get poisoned! Thank you. That was a waste of resources, but I was proving a point. Oh yeah, we have a virus touch, I forgot. Or poison touch, rather, from the virus. We'll look for our secret rooms and hopefully get a spare heart in the process. Nope, alright, well, we'll just try and get a spare heart. We did. Good. Uh, easy enough room not to waste Krampus' head on. I'm going to have to be a bit more economic with it, even though it is only a three-room charge, because we're running on base damage here. Use it on the rooms that will be... that will be dangerous. Not just because you're lazy. Because <laughs> you'll pay for it. Oh, so that was a dead end. Okay. Oh, did I blow up all the poop? I should, I really should. Took me a bit longer than I'm comfortable to admit that there wasn't a square to walk on to the left there, but never mind. This is a very linear floor then, because I can't go any other way. These things suck, but they're also quite weak. It's bullshit that your invincibility frames on creep are so much shorter now, that you can actually get hit twice by the same creep. We're still doing okay for health. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't waste Krampus' head on that room. This room, I will do. I still got hit. That's just typical. That was probably a waste. Well, this is just Teratoma, so this isn't too bad. It's going to be lots and lots of spiders, though. Any second now. Or just all the little bits. That's worse. That's so much worse. Hi, Garuga! <laughs> No! Damn it, I didn't see the one behind me. That second hit was just embarrassing. Ah, Empress. I'll remember the sun card, maybe. The Empress I can use... Oh no, but I can't get out the boss, so I might as well just use it on a room then. I can't tell which creep is mine and which creep is theirs. Theirs is flashing a slightly darker red, but... When you're in the middle of a fight, I guarantee you will not be able to tell. So let's use the Empress. Just for funsies. More damage to clear this room faster. More damage that's rather embarrassing to take, but whatever. At least we can get into our item room. And of course, our item room's going to be Mom's Knife and everything will be fine. You've never heard that song, Everything is Alright? By... I can't remember who it was. It was on the soundtrack to Saints Row 1, I think? I think it was. I like it. Even though I can't remember who it's by. This is Book of Belial. No, this is not. This is Satanic Bible. I've never had this before. What did that do? Oh, it gave me... No, wait, no, it didn't give me half a black heart. You know what it did? It gave me a full one, but because I was on half a blue heart, it filled that in. So it's a book of revelations that gives you black hearts. Six room charge. If I get a battery, I'll come back and use it again. Interesting. So now we have a Necronomicon effect when I inevitably get hit on some room. Maybe even this one. It's just screaming out to me to use Krampus on these dicks, but it's a waste because they're easy. It's tedious, but they're easy. Plus I'm not sure where our boss room is yet, and I don't want to accidentally not have a charge for Mom because that would just be murder. Okay, they're going down. All the way downtown. Oh, 
very nearly. Again, an enemy that's immune to the creep as well, so taking Headless Baby has not really paid off. I'd still like it. <laughs> These are immune to it as well, you're just making me look like an idiot now. But I do still like it, there's so many enemies it is good against. It just so happens I'm getting a bad kind of draw here where it's all flying enemies. Hey, get up here. We can't even kill them on one pass. Yeah, I know what you're going to do. You're just going to kiss? Okay. One more pass should do it for this one. Yes! Okay. This is a big floor. We have our shop. We don't have a lot of money, though. Oh. It probably was not worth it, but those conga liners, you know, they have a... Un but and no, it's not that they have a lot of HP. I was going to say they have quite a lot of HP. It's not. It's just that we're so bloody weak. It would take us years to kill the damn things. And, of course, our boss is right next to us. I mean, of course it, it is. She is. Whatever. I won't bother looking in the shop unless we can get some more money. Uh, I will check for a secret room here, though. Okay. Hmm. So if there's an arcade, and that would be interesting. Oh, there better be two more rooms. Uh, one more room of combat. That's all I can see. One of those two remaining rooms has to be combat. Has to be. I didn't forget the sun card was there. What are you talking about? Okay, so we've got the hands. At least the headless baby is good against the hands. Maybe I'm not actually seeing the damage proc. Four of them. When I do this little damage. So one's dead, two's dead, there's two left. There's one, there's two. Still two left. God damn. I remember someone saying, Flick, do you never have a run where you're either stupidly powerful or stupidly weak from a damage perspective? No, the answer is the answer is no. I always am either too powerful or not powerful enough. There is no in-between, there is no grey. Except when it comes to things like speed. Sometimes I'm too fast, sometimes I'm not fast enough. And there is, there is runs where you're just right from a speed perspective, I think. But yeah, damage is always feast or famine with me for whatever reason. Maybe I get frustrated and get sloppy after not getting damage early. I was so tempted to use Krampus there because I'm going to get hit, probably. But the damage is acceptable. It wastes a black heart, but it's still acceptable. So we didn't get any other money either, annoyingly. And that's the floor other than the boss trap room. Which I can't get into without an arcade or a hematomesis pill. Um, I'll open up the shop. It might be greed. If it isn't, I'll just donate. Oh, there's a three cents battery. Alright, it's slightly tedious, but I feel like I'm not in a position where I can get lazy. We're going to get Satanic Bible, buy the charge, get a black heart. Go back for Krampus' head. Donate the spare penny. And then fight Mom. At least there is a battery in there, so if I had screwed up with Krampus' head... There's, there was still a way to get a charge before the boss, so that kind of works out. Alright, Satanic Bible, get charged upon, you'll give me a full black heart. Yes, okay, so that is how you work. We'll donate the penny. I think I'm still in a negative because of a run where I blew up once or twice or three times to get the last few pennies I needed to buy some item. And what I'm hoping for when we go into this mom fight is that Liberty Cap will give us one of the better mushroom effects. Ideally the damage, but speed would be okay too. And we know the ideal time to use Krampus' head on Mum as well. It's not when her foot comes down, it's when multiple parts of her are poking out the doors. That's regular Mum. Okay. I'm very happy with how that went. The damage doesn't really matter. Because it's still less than we would be taking had I not had Krampus' head, that's for damn sure. Now, I don't want to hear anything about Bob's brain. You keep quiet about your Bob brain. Bob's brain. Temporarily turned into a caveman because I'm concentrating. Oi, come on. There we are. So yes, we are going for the cathedral, so we'll take the Polaroid effect. So now I'd really rather like to get down to one heart. Any tinted rocks in here? No. Ask and ye shall receive. So now we should get the Polaroid effect every time we get hit as well, right? I'm just 
that's missing page two. I don't want that, and I don't want Sister Maggie. So we're sticking with the one heart. Or are we? Does uh, does the Polaroid effect happen on one heart, or is it half a heart? It's half a heart, I think. So I need a blood bank or an arcade. Um. I will keep. I'll keep the one heart. I think the Polaroid effect won't take effect. I will need to lose half a heart. I'm placing my bet that there'll be an arcade in one of the wind floors. I don't want to. I, I just didn't want any of those two one heart items. They're both crappy. Oh, it's Wim XL, so it's a double floor. Oh, well, well. oh wait, there's another way you can go here. Uh, just poo in front of me, just literally invincible. Excuse me, what the fuck is this? Alright, apparently I can't go that way, because the poo's invincible. I better not have to go that way, because I would have to take damage to do it. In fact, I'm not even sure I can get past if I take damage. I think it still stops you from phasing through it. Also, no, Brimstone doesn't mean this is equal, almost, you know, one run just from getting that alone. It doesn't give you a, a damage up per se, in fact, does it? No. So we're still doing pretty bad damage, it's just we have kind of unlimited range now. And our charge time is pretty damn fast too. Oh, and technically piercing shots, I suppose. So we're technically better, but we're still not doing a lot of damage. Screw you guys. I didn't kill him. Yeah. <laughs> if I had gotten Dark Bomb for one in that deal, we would have been set for sure. I think. I think I'm comfortable saying that, but we didn't. So we just have to go on with what we have. I still got hit. Oh. Every hit matters now because it's full hearts. Now this guy, I get a feeling, is going to take quite a few hits. Or not. Oh, okay. I'm tempted to blow up some of these... Whatever the, these things are. What would you call them? Cysts, I guess? I'm tempted to blow them up in the hopes of getting, like, placenta or something, just for the HP regen. But that puts us even further away from... permanent, uh, getting the Polaroid invincibility effect every time we get hit. Which is always good. Especially if you play rather sloppily like I do. Oh, that was almost a silly thing to do. Any tinted rocks here? No. There is so many rocks clumped together though, I kind of want to use a bomb. Umbilical cord. Not really what I was looking for. Let's use one more bomb. I'm feeling lucky. Okay. When I said I was feeling lucky, I lied. Especially there. That made a horrible noise as well. Did you hear that? Well, I still got hit, so unfortunately, this run is looking like it's going to. Well, hang on. If this is a number six, it could turn everything around, so bear with me here. Oh, it's a champion one. It's looking like this run hasn't got much life left in it, is what I was saying. But let's see what's in here first. It's a number three. I don't know what a number three does, so screw it. Let's re -roll the room, I think. Meh. Also, ah, the map does not show you what, num what number it is, because that's very clearly still a two. Oh, it re-rolls everything on the current floor, right? Not just the room, so that's what number three does. The only ones I memorised were number five and six, because those are the two that matter. They re-rolled umbilical cord into that, so that's interesting. Tinted rocks, tinted rocks... No. If we could fly, then I would rate my chances much higher. But we can't, so I don't. Okay, we need those keys, clearly, because there's nothing... Oh, it's going to be a bad room. I can't get past him. Oh, wait, you can just about get past him. Okay. Ah, it's going to hit me. Yep, there was nothing I could do. Should have used Crampsy's head. Well, that's one way. Is there any... Ten oh, there is a tent rock over there. Can I get it? I don't think I can. You'd need to, like, punt a bomb over there somehow. Ah, 
Ugh, I despise these things so very much. I also totally forgot we had nine lives, by the way, so this is going to be a long death. <laughs> a long, arduous, drawn-out tinted rock. Also death. I'm going to blow up all these, because there could be stuff. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that up right now. Wait until I had a life that mattered, although it kind of makes the life matter, doesn't it? Gurglings. Right, so that one there is almost dead. Yeah. Must remember we can charge very fast. I keep forgetting that. We make sales, it's a double boss. Well, that's assist. I will go back and earn another charge before going to the next boss, don't worry. So that's HP plus regeneration, which is kind of okay. And that's Mom's heart in there, but we need a charge on Cramsey's head for absolute sure. Hmm, where would I look for our secret rooms? Maybe up... Hmm, maybe up here? Not this room, but the next one up and then on the right. No, wait, one more up. Not been in here yet. Good, easy room. Joker card? Ah, two of hearts. Tinted rock. Glad I spotted that. It could save me. And we need one more room of combat. Don't know why I left the key there. Oh, it wasn't a key, that's why. It got rerolled. Key beggar, I'm sorry. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I just realised I should have played them a few times because I have so many keys. Ah My lust for murder may have cost me. Oh well. Tenant rocks in here. No, I was just wondering maybe if I did that floor reroll, I also rerolled tenant rocks. As in like made more of them. Do these things ever do anything? And if so, what? Like do you have to leave them for 30 seconds, then they insta kill you or something? Yeah, I should have played that key beggar. That was just me being rash. I'm leaving the map up in case it does the Liberty Cap effect where you get the compass, because I'm curious if there's an arcade on the floor. And I'll miss it if I'm going too fast. I wish I could get that one over there. Doesn't look like we're going to get it. Okie dokie. It lives. It really does. Well, at least I can beat the lasers and I mean the eyes in one blast. That's important. That was good damage. Isaac yourself, mother. Come on, do your death beams. They're easier to dodge. Ah! Damn it. Two hits I did not need to take there. Death beams, come on. Okay. My death beam is better than your death beam, mother. Maybe. All I need to do is kill Isaac. That's still doable. I didn't go in the deal with the devil, by the way, because it's always just a route down to Shoal when you defeat it lives. Slash mom's heart. So ideally I want the... Oh. Oh wow, that was terrible. Also, I'm just going to sun card so I have another hit in me. So what I'm going to have to do is, well, now we've used the sun card, I know where Isaac is. I'm still going to try and maybe clear the floor because I want to try and accrue some spirit hearts to take into the boss fight with me. All I need to do is beat Isaac. That's all I wanted to do. I don't care about the chest as Maggie yet. Seriously, a bad trip pill. Why do you hate me? Can't get in there because I don't have full health. Hmm. Well, we need to clear this big room. Double mega fight. Oh, so they can actually puke the whole distance plus those bounces they can do are so quick. When you see me moving weirdly, that's one of them doing the drawing effect, by the way. And that was me dead right there. There's one death. Once more, oh, hang on, let's have a look in here, actually. 
nothing worth doing this room for. Probably just want to kill me, but I might get a spirit heart when I clear the room, so we'll, we'll try and clear it. Who is it next, anyway? Well. That's okay, I suppose. Yeah, those mega fatties are going to be hard to deal with because of our bad damage. And they're blocking progress, aren't they? Yeah, they're blocking the way to Isaac. I'll clear the other rooms up this. Oh, there's a dice room. I really want to get to the dice room. If it's a number six, I would go for it. I have brimstone, but our damage is so bad, I'd be willing to do a full reroll and hoping for the best. Double monstro? Well, at least it's regular monstro, but still. But again, keep in mind, if they kill us in here, technically doesn't matter. The chances of us getting a spirit heart drop for clearing the room, very slim. I'm not sure which if either is close to death. I mean, I assume they both are quite close because I've been hitting them both. Got a key. Oh, I can use Crampsy's head to clear the mega fatties, actually. I'll give that a go because we need to clear this room. Why didn't I hit them both? That was so stupid! Well, there's still enough rooms of combat that I will get another charge if I die and have to do it again. Look, they just jump so fast. There's one dead. Just keep your eye on the other one. That's a fart, I think. Yeah. Look for tinted rocks. They're super important too. doing his puke. Screw you. Okay, the room counts is done, yes? So I can be a bit... Right, wait until that disappears. Bombs. Okay. Tinted rocks, tinted rocks, tinted rocks. No. We're still going to clear. We're still going to attempt to clear, rather. Oh, I pinched myself in there. Was there a tinted rock in there? Let's try that again. Okay, let's not do that way. Is there a safe way I can do this with them moving as fast as they do? I don't think there is. I don't think I literally can. Oh wait, I can go in and leave a bomb. Like here -ish. Let the bomb go off. Right, now I can go right and hopefully survive. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, so you literally can't do that room when you first go in without taking damage. Unless you go and leave a bomb and have another life like I do. Now I'm worried about not getting down to the dice room with any lives remaining, so let's try and do that. Uh, the curse room could have the last guppy in a minute, although being guppy at this point would not save us, sadly. Oh, I didn't see the scythe. So we might just die to this death room then. Did the size boomerang? I honestly... Oh, is that a little rosary on the floor as well? I could technically just blow my way through the room, I'm aware of that. Oh, damn you. Yeah, I'm just going to blow my way through the room. Excuse me, death. Don't mind me. Oh, the psychic ones. Well, hang on, where would that put me now? In the death room, but I have to blow my way out again. Why did it have to be the psychic ones? Is that my last life? No, one more. Unfortunately, that looks like where this is going to end. This has been a ridiculous run. Just awful, awful damage. I can't do anything with Maggie base damage, sadly. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed anyway. Please leave a like if you did indeed like. There will be more Binding of Isaac Rebirth to come as well as other gaming stuff. My name has been Flick, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.